So in today's video, I'm going to talk about installing your pixel onto your ClickFunnels page or almost any page, but we're going to use ClickFunnels for examples because I know that's what most of us here use today. Um, so as you can see, we're in the computer already. And at, if you're familiar with Facebook and the inside of Facebook Business Manager, you'll notice everything changed. And so I found it was very difficult to actually create a new pixel recently. So I figured I would just uh, release a video. Now that we have it all figured out, it's actually really simple, but it's with everything changing as always, um, figured we'd release a video on how you can create a new pixel and install it onto your funnel. And for those of you who don't know what a pixel is, a pixel is just Facebook's way of tracking everything that happens on your web page. So if anybody that visits your website, buys anything from you, adds to cart if you're doing e-commerce, all of that is tracked through a Facebook pixel. So without further ado, let's dive in here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So if you're on Facebook, business.facebook.com, you'll see this is what the back end of your business manager looks like. Um, it's, it's a lot different than it used to be. This is gonna be our test account. And so right here, if you click Facebook, if you're on the home, you click business tools, you'll want to go over to events manager. And once it opens up, you'll see right here on the left-hand side that you want to connect a new data source. This is gonna be your pixel. So you got, as you see here, it sends information from any place where your customers interact with your business. This information can be used to create audiences and run campaigns. This is used for advertising, obviously. So you have web, app, and offline. And for the sake of this video, we're gonna worry about web, connect your website to share activity that occurs online, including view content, add to cart, and purchases. So we'll click that and we'll click get started. And then you'll have to select, how would you like to connect your website? Do you want conversions API, what, which is events and stuff, which you can do later, or do you want the Facebook pixel? So we want to create a Facebook pixel to install onto our landing page or email opt-in or whatever page it is. So click Facebook pixel, hit connect. You're going to want to name your pixels so right here, test pixel for the sake of this video. Check your website for easy setup options. So there's a, you could, it's optional to where you put your website in and see if they already have like a third party, like a partner integration system where they'll just integrate your pixel. But to show you how to do it, very simple. We're just going to do this and we'll hit continue. All right, choose how you want to install your pixel. Like I said, you could do the par partner integration, maybe like Shopify, that, that's very simple to use. You'll use, use a partner, but we're gonna install it onto a funnel that we recently built. It's actually just a test funnel. So we'll click install co code manually. So we're gonna to want to install the base code. You'll see here, it's a long code right here. All you have to do is click copy. And that's going to say paste the pixel code onto the bottom of the header section just above the head tag. So for sakes of this, that's how you can do it if it's like on WordPress or something. But let's say we're in ClickFunnels. So I'm in the back end of a ClickFunnels account right here. And then here's a, a, a opt-in page. And let's go right here on the top right, it says settings. So we'll click settings. And then right here where it says head tracking code, which is exactly what said before the head tag, we'll paste Actually, yeah, I copied it. We'll paste our pixel right there. And as you see, it copied and pasted the whole entire, um, the HTML code right there. And then it'll just scroll down and hit save and update settings. The, so now your pixel is properly installed. And for you to verify that your prop, uh, pixel is properly installed, you can always go back into Facebook. You, we'll, we'll go back in here actually. And, um, I'll we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll come in here, hit continue, and now connect website activity using automatic advanced matching. So this is new. I've never used it, but we just turned it on on another pixel that we just installed today. Use the information that your customers have already provided to your business, such as their email address or phone numbers, to match your website's visitors to people who are on Facebook. This can help you attribute more conversions to your ads on Facebook and reach more people through, through remarketing campaigns. So essentially what this is or what it appears to be is like, so normally you would build an email opt-in list and then you would create a lookalike audience. So this looks like it takes the email, the phone numbers. Um, in fact, here, let's turn it on. Email, phone number, gender, city, state, external IDs, data, it takes all of the data that is collected through your pixel 
and it looks for a similar audience. So whenever you do retarget ads, it's actually more beneficial to you. The algorithm, the all, all it's way more beneficial. It looks like it. I've never tried it, but it's just like doing a look like audience and excluding people that you don't want to talk to or don't want to see your ads. So let's just turn it on for the sake of this video and hit continue. Um, and then this is at events, use the event setup tool. I'll make a separate video for that. So this would be because that page we had doesn't have any events. Um, this is going to be use the event setup tool to open your website and select where on your website you'd like to add events. Events would be like add to cart, purchases, um, opt-ins, anything of that. Different events that happen on a website will have different codes. That way you can target, retarget them with ads differently. But that's way past the scope of this video. So we'll just, um, you get an open setup tool or you could exit out. We'll, we'll just click open event setup tool. And then you see we haven't received any events yet because we haven't actually verified the URL. So what you can do is go back in here. You can open it up. And now, as you see right here, this is a, a Chrome extension called Facebook Pixel Helper. So essentially all you have to do is type in Facebook Pixel Helper into um, Google Chrome and you see Chrome.FacebookPixelHelper. You just click this and you'll install it. And it's a Chrome extension, I already have it. But what it does essentially is Anytime you're on a landing page or a funnel page or any type of website, this will turn blue. You see how some of these are gray? That means they're not active on this website. If this was gray, that would mean there's no pixels found on this website. It is showing you that there is a pixel installed, the pixel ID, so, and then we can just cross-reference that pixel ID, but we just installed it so we know it's correct. So essentially, for the sake, that's gonna be all for this video. I, I hope that helped. Um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And if you need help with actually building out your funnels and stuff, we'll have all kinds of content. We'll have another video with the event pixel setup and stuff like that. So, like I said, subscribe, follow for more. We'll see you later.